Okay. So now what, what we, we learned so far is that there is a relationship between output and price level. <clears throat> now we're going to learn that there is a relationship between unemployment rate and inflation rate. Inflation rate is, of course, connected with the price level from here. And unemployment is, of course, connected to the output. So if I say, for example, here is 100. Right. Let's suppose this is the natural output. Aggregate demand. And we say there are two possible outcomes. Aggregate demand low, which will be like this. So, you see, the price level should not increase very much, but I have a recession. I go to left from the natural output, which means the unemployment will be higher, or the aggregate demand is here, which makes inflation higher, unemployment lower. So this is the classical Phillips curve looks like this. You see, it's a negative relationship between inflation rate and unemployment. This is how it looks. Because in times of high inflation, I have a lower unemployment. I think the economy is somehow stimulated to create more jobs. When the inflation is low, then unemployment is high. And for quite a long period of time, governments believe that they can build their policy based on this curve. Yeah. It's, it's like a tool. You, you, you look at the economy and you try to understand what is the biggest problem. Is the unemployment or is the inflation? Because the Phillips curve will teach you there is a trade-off. You can choose what you want. You can choose either to have higher unemployment and lower inflation, or you can choose to have lower unemployment and high inflation, which was maybe more often the choice, lower unemployment and higher inflation. The problem is, and there is a big problem here, a lot of economy, economies experience what is called stockflation. You heard about stockflation last lecture. Stockflation means what? Sorry? Stagnation and inflation. So this is what happened. You, you believed in the Phillips curve. The governments believed in the Phillips curve. And they said, OK, we move from here, here, and from here like this. And OK, inflation rate is not so, inflation, when it's high, people are not very happy. But at least they have jobs. So it's not so bad. The problem is that you, they focused on this choice, and they ended being like this, somewhere here. So this would be the starting point, and they moved here from A to B, where, guess what? You have high unemployment. Make sure you understand this is Y, right? This is the output. Output is lower, so you have high unemployment and high inflation, which doesn't look like the desired outcome. You, you want it to be here, right? High inflation, low unemployment. But you wake up here, high inflation, high unemployment. This is true in the short run. In the long run, will not work. Why? Because everything we, we did here, our explanation was based on this graph. But this graph missed the long-run aggregate supply. You see, there is no long-run aggregate supply here. And the long-run aggregate supply will make a big change in the full story. If I make everything now using the long-run aggregate supply, this, and you see, let's suppose this is the starting point. And I, I don't know about Milton Friedman and Edmund Phelps. I, I just believe in Phillips curve. And I believe in this story. I believe that 
sustaining a higher aggregate demand will lower my unemployment rate and will, of course, increase inflation. Then, using monetary policy, using fiscal policy, I bring the aggregate demand from here to here. Yeah. I do that. Oops. Price level is higher, but output is still here. Okay. And I don't like it. I made a bad choice. You see, in the long run, the Phillips curve is vertical because let's suppose I have here, let's say, 3%. 103% price index, 105% price index, but the natural rate of unemployment was still 6%, whatever. Now, when I draw the Phillips curve, I have here 3%, 5%, and here is the 6%, and it goes like this, you see? It's not anymore with a negative slope, it's with zero slope. It goes Vertical. This is the long run Phillips curve. 